Hello and welcome to the landing page for the GCSE Geography course at Chelliston Academy from the Geography Department. Just a quick video to tell you the specification we're studying, a brief overview of the topics and then the resources that are available to support students throughout their learning whether it be in terms of remote learning, whether it's because students are absent or just because students want to improve their knowledge and understanding and help with revision so they can get the best result possible at the end of their exams. Just below this video, you will see we had each of the different topics and I will go through the information in all of those very shortly. But before that, you can see that we have the specification from the exam board. So we are doing Edexcel Geography A. And down below that, we have a brief overview of the type of examinations, the paper codes and the content that is included. If you continue to scroll down, you will see our seven year curriculum journey for geography. And you can see how the GCSE course has been designed to fit in following on from the knowledge and understanding from key stage three, but also then how it links into the knowledge and understanding that students will develop at years 12 and year 13. Here we can see we have an overview of all of the different topics and there's lots of different information in each of these which will help support student learning and developing their knowledge and understanding to help them be the best that they can for their GCSEs. If we go into each of these, you can see that it's been split up into different sections. <clears throat> so if we click on to one, all of the sections will look similar. It's each been broken up into bite sized chunks to help the learning and understanding. If students are absent, then they should have an understanding of roughly where they are in the course and they can go on to each of these relevant pages. If we have a look at each of these pages in more detail, you will see for each of them there is the relevant section of the exam specification at the top this is the information from the exam board that tells us exactly what students are expected to know uh, for their exam we then have some very basic information which helps students to develop their knowledge and understanding this is often taken from the knowledge organizers which students can download but there are also links and other information in there as well. If students are absent, what they need to do is to read through this information and make notes on the key bits of information. Now, this is not a copying down exercise. It should be reading through one section, drawing diagrams, making mind maps, or taking a note of the key information that is on the page, helping them to develop their notes in their book, but also to improve their memory, their knowledge, and their understanding. You'll also notice at the bottom of each page, there are various different quizzes. And this is just to check that they've got their understanding. If students want feedback on this, they can email their teacher and ask them to set it as a task for them, or it may be set as tasks for homework for whole classes to check the understanding. Please do your best to get the highest possible mark on this following reading the information. This way, the teachers can have a look at the information, work out where the strengths and weaknesses of the class are and can adjust their planning in future lessons to make sure we can give the best learning possible and make the best improvements with those students. As well as having all of the key bits of information and notes and specification content, there is also a assessment folder. Now in here, there are lots of different things designed to help students improve their knowledge. For example, one of the things is key terms are very important with geography, because if you don't understand the meaning of the key words that you might find in the exam, then you won't be able to answer the question. Now these will be set as quizzes and as tests by the class teacher. And you can see you are given all of the words that you need and then you have to match the word and write the word correctly next to the definition by it. Now, it's very important that you do spell the words correctly taken from the box here um, as it is a self marking. But teachers do go through and do check them as well. 
The very basic understanding is key terms. You need to know what the different key terms mean if you're going to have any chance of success in your geography exam. So working on these key terms and knowing what they mean is vitally important before you start to do anything else. So always try your best on these tests to get a higher score as possible. And sometimes you may be asked to resubmit these to try and get a better mark. Therefore, it's important that you don't just try it again, but you do do some revision. You look over the ones that you got wrong and you try and improve your knowledge and understanding. On top of that, there are knowledge tests that, again, you will be set as homeworks, but also as, pra as part of retrieval practice and interleaved learning. So it may be that you get set these on a number of different occasions at different times throughout your two year GCSE curriculum. And this is to see how well the learning has stuck. So please don't be upset if you're asked to repeat these many times. It's just to see how much of your knowledge and understanding has stayed. And again, it helps us to plan the learning and the revision sessions that may be needed because we can focus on those areas of weakness. So we are making the most effective use of time. These are simple multiple choice questions, but again, before you answer these, it is important that you do a bit of revision so you are aiming to get the best mark possible. Also to help out, we have the odd one out activities. Here we take the key terms and we put number of them together. The aim of this is to decide which is the odd one out and just simply check the tick next to it. And then underneath you need to give the reason why that is the odd one out. So it may be, for example, this one, estuary is the odd one out because the source, the stream and V-shaped valley are the type of landforms and features you would find in an upper course of a river. Again, these are really useful techniques to help us work out where your strengths and weaknesses are and help us plan our lessons and revision content. For each section, we have also prepared a walking talking mock. Now this is a quick video, which is one of the teachers talking through their approach to a past exam paper. The papers and resources are there for you to download if you want to, or you can just click on the video and this will talk you through how to answer questions, what the command words mean and how best to get the marks. You get an opportunity to write your own answers before checking them with the mark scheme just after you've done them all. So this is a really useful tool just before you doing assessments uh, to help you prepare in the best way. And again, you can refer to these before your main exams as well. Then back in the main section for each topic, we have a Quizlet revision page. Now, hopefully you have already signed up to the Quizlet, Memorize and Seneca websites and apps. And these provide loads of useful revision techniques. Now, these have all been designed and inputted into these websites by the Chelliston Geography staff. So we know that the ones that we have given you will fit our um, course exactly. And in here, you can choose different uh, modes and this will provide you with lots of different opportunities to revise in lots of different ways. And it can even allow you to generate flashcards that you can print out. So please have a look at these and make sure you are logged in to memorize and ask your teachers for the class codes so the teachers can actually see how well you are doing on there. The final section that we've got to support students is the PLC or Personal Learning Checklist. Now, these are very useful for students to complete after they have been learning the topic. It has the different elements of the specification and then the pupils can judge themselves on how confident they feel in the different units. The instructions are at the top. Again, the teachers can use this to plan any revision sessions before tests or any extra curricular activities to help support the students. Self-evaluation is also a very important skill in life to know what you're good at and to know those areas that you need to improve, whether it's in work, in university or apprenticeships. 
because then you can ask the right kind of questions to get you the right help to make sure that you progress and be the best that you can. So it is important that you are very honest about this. You won't get told off if you put that you don't understand it, but you may be given tasks to help you improve uh, and be asked to look back over the other information in the Firefly pages. It's not just something where you can put down that you don't understand it and then expect the teachers to do all the work for you. But this is a really important tool to help you develop your understanding and learning. So as you can see, the GCSE pages for the Geography Department on Firefly Challiston Academy are very comprehensive. There is lots of information to help the learning of students, to help them improve their knowledge and understanding, to help them improve their exam technique, to help them with their revision, but also to help them to be able to evaluate their own performance so they know what they need to focus their hard work on to keep them improving. If you are ever in any doubt and you are struggling, then please feel free to email the geography teachers directly and they should be able to guide you to the relevant sections. If you are ever absent, these pages will help to ensure that you can keep your learning going even when you're not at school. Please email your teachers to let you know when you've completed tasks or ask them to set them the relevant pages as a task and that will give an opportunity feedback for you. Hope you found that useful. Good luck. Many thanks. Bye.